hello and welcome. I stumbled across a pretty cool video from the YouTuber Action Retro. I'll link the video in the description uh, where he showed us that Snow Leopard can actually run on PowerPC and that was so cool to me. Over the years it has always been kind of engraved into my head that 10.5 is the latest and that's it. But the beta of Snow Leopard could still run on PowerPC. And so he was so kind and posted some links in the description and of course I will also post it in the description where you can get a DMG file which is basically a pre-done image of Snow Leopard for PowerPC which has some texts, which has some patches and uh, yeah, so we'll try that on this PowerBook. Now in his video he had also a PowerBook G4. Uh, so I decided to start off with a similar computer now. <laughs> Mine as you can see only has half a gigabyte of RAM here. Which uh, yeah, will kind of slow it down a bit. But um, I will just give it a shot nevertheless. So here I have a 1.33 gigahertz. PowerBook G4 15 inch. It has the Mobility Radio 9700. Uh, let me connect to my server and pull the file over and then let's restore it to the hard drive on another partition. That's the way we'll do it. So the file is currently there copying. It's called PPC, SL and so on. So that should be the PowerPC version of Snow Leopard. <laughs> Can't believe how excited I am. That's uh, really exciting for me to see maybe 10.6 booting on this thing. Who would have imagined that? So when this is copied I will make a second partition where we will restore it to. And as you can see it's not even that large. It's like 3.18 gigabytes. So not all that big of a file as I imagined. So... Let's create our Snow Leopard partition. I have here enough free space. We'll just make it uh, 20 gigs. Call it Snow Leopard, whatever. Snow, Le Snow Leopards. You know what? That's fine. So let's add this partition. If you want to do this on Tiger, for example, um, you can't. <laughs> That's unfortunate because Tiger Disk Utility won't allow you to add a partition. I'm sure there is maybe a software out there which can do that, like a third party software. If you know one, please let me know. But if you're here on Leopard, no biggie, just create a partition. Or you can just, you know, boot off of a second Mac, for example, hook it up via Firewire and do it this way. But uh, your tiger will be gone, so and so. So <laughs> that is uh, unavoidable, as far as I know. So I restarted this utility. I don't know why I didn't show it earlier here, the partitions. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll just do this scanning stuff again for good measure, just to minimize problems. Okay. Now, restore, source this, and damn, not this way around, source here, and destination there, and we will erase the destination, that's what they told us that we should do, so let's do it, alright, And now it should be restoring the image to the hard drive. And yeah, we'll just hopefully have success, first of all, with the restoration, but also if, uh, if it boots then. So yeah, we'll see. So restoring went fine, now it's checking it. So that uh, it's fine, I guess. And then we can reboot it, hold down the option key and try to start up Snow Leopard. That will be so interesting. Oh my god. So, 
Let's see if that really worked. All right. Let's just quickly eject my server there. And shut it down. And hopefully boot it up into 10.6. Oh, it renamed it to Untitled 1. Hmm, no biggie. As long as it works, should be fine. <laughs> so the intro video is not there, but uh, it booted up and you can hear the music. <laughs> we'll just live in the United States for now, but I want a German keyboard. That would be handy. Do not transfer anything, no. Just. Uh, Continue without registration there. And here we are. This is indeed 10.6 booted up on a PowerPC G4. Oh my god, that is so cool. Look at that. 10.6 PowerPC. Now it is a little slow as I expected with this 512 megabytes of RAM. This is just not enough for Snow Leopard at all. Um, but it booted up no problems. Here is the PowerBook, PowerBook 5.4, so I can confirm this also working on a 15 inch PowerBook. Um, and I suppose this pre configured image that uh, they shared us here is working pretty well on PowerBooks generally. Now it would be interesting to test it on like a more low end system, like um, EMAC, for example. I have an EMAC with 700 megahertz and should be way slower. <laughs> and basically unusable and completely different hardware so maybe it might not boot at all maybe it blue, ah, blue screens <laughs> maybe it uh, curl panics um, and so yeah we don't know all it is but I know that it works great on on this power book here is the graphics card that's totally recognized um, it is a little choppy on leopard it is smoother um, let's just try to open up uh, some programs. Here is, for example, our um, second leopard partition, and I can load here 10 for Fox because, after all, this is still a Power PC. So it will, of course, require Power PC software. So there is no real reason to do this to install 10.6 because you're not really gaining anything, since, after all, still you you will have uh, to search for PowerPC programs, so regardless of 10.6, uh, you you still can't run like Office 11 or something that would otherwise run on 10.6 because it's coded for Intel only. So you're not really gaining anything, and since this has never been released uh, publicly and officially, developers never made versions for Snow Leopard PowerPC. Yeah, I mean, as cool as that would be if somebody made a dedicated program that runs only on 10.6 PowerPC, he would not have had a lot of success because uh, there's only a beta version available. So, um, But it shows that PowerPC development was still going on. But uh, Apple said, no, we're not going to support it anymore. So that's uh, very sad indeed. So as you can see, here's 10.4 Fox. And... Um, Airport card doesn't work, so Wi-Fi is not working, but um, I have Ethernet working. It recognizes my Ethernet just fine. And um, that is that is cool. So, as you can see, yeah, it's a little slow. Could really need a RAM upgrade. Here it is, connected. By the way, this noise is the worn out CPU fan bearings, so that's really annoying, hope it doesn't disturb you too much. Anyway, just quickly go to my website on PowerPC 10.6, that is so cool to me. <laughs> so if you were into these PowerPCs and hacking a little bit, 
give this a shot. This is this is cool. I will definitely leave that installed just to to say that I run 10.6 on a power PC. I mean that's not something you see every day. So here it is working. Um all the regular leopard software will of course work on 10.6 as well. And that's the famous quote from Steve Jobs back then, no new features, just refinements. <laughs> um, so the operating system is basically the same. But yeah, of course they did under the, under the hood improvements and all that. But yeah guys, uh, if you know what the new features were from 10.5 to 10.6, like, then please let me know because I really, I really don't know. It's, it's uh, kind of embarrassing, but I don't know. <laughs> so um please if you try this please give this a shot this this should be uh an interesting topic for lots of people um i could imagine this working way faster on like a dual core mdd or g5 even i don't know if that works on g5s i suppose it does but um i only saw it for g4s and there's a dedicated Mac Rumors post which does all the hacking and so kudos to all of these guys. Um, I haven't read through this whole because it's quite a big post. But um, yeah, still, um, they took this chance and uh, gave us this awesome image which we can use. Just tried to launch up iMovie but that really locked it up there. Just try it one more time. Come on, maybe that works. I remember using this iMovie version on my iMac in when I like in 2011 when I ran 10.6. <laughs> but uh, I think it was even a newer version than back then. So yeah, I had the same icon and same layout. So maybe it was after all. I don't know. Can't recall now. All right, iMovie doesn't wanna doesn't wanna work, which uh, yeah is fine. So. Maybe it's just the lack of RAM, I could really imagine that. Um, I don't want to report. Just, just do that. Now what I have to do, and that's something you Mac fans will definitely understand, is I will have to change this from the Leopard to the Snow Leopard wallpaper. And if he doesn't have it here, I'll just uh, grab it off the internet somewhere because that is that is not right. I mean, this is now Snow, uh, Snow Leopard and we're running here a, a leopard wallpaper, which uh, just isn't right. <laughs> but I don't see it anywhere. They must have, like, uh, must have it in development or so at this point when this was made. So yeah, this is an early beta of 10.6. Looks to me like uh, the final just a little more buggy. So unfortunately, our Snow Leopard beta has troubles connecting to my server but I got it connected via AFP and I only have two uh, volumes I can access via AFP that would be the time machine backups of our machines so I sneaked here this wallpaper file into the iMac time machine volume which uh, is fine can delete it anytime what did it what is it is, is it insane or what this is not the file we made this is the one we want Come on. What? No drag and drop, so we'll just copy and paste. And what? <laughs> Are you mad? Let's try to open it up then. Maybe that's like a thing of beta. Oh, I can see this is not so high quality too, so maybe that's like a Mac problem. For, for the beta, what do I know? Just save as to this way. Alright, I mean, this is not high quality at all. Okay, it looks much better. Let's just check out how pixelated that is. That is a shame, but that's like the, the, a thing that the beta does. So, there's not a lot we can do about that, unfortunately. Um, hmm. Well, nevertheless, guys, I will rename that now to Snow Leopard because it deserves it. <laughs> and um, let's just call that layout part so we know. And so, yeah, 
this is it 10.6 running on this power book brightness works sound works um, I'm so glad that this really worked first try uh, it sucks that I only have this little RAM so I can't really do much without waiting the entire day but this was not what this was about we just wanted to know if it works and it does work so here it is guys I hope you enjoyed it please let me know if you did that too and to what machine that would be really interesting but again thanks to Action Retro for uh, telling us that this is possible so that is so cool anyway hope you liked it and we'll see us in the next video.